Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm just going to show you how to make this really simple Christmas card and envelope. And I've used one of our little Christmas tree um, paper clips as the closure. So really simple, really cost effective. So if you've got lots of Christmas cards to make, these are perfect. Um, so I've used one of the Christmas trees that we did in the video yesterday. I've used one of the embellishments here that we used in the previous video. Um, so I'm just using the stuff that we've already made um, and it's really, really easy to do. Um, so I'm just using a piece, this isn't even a card, this is a piece of 160 gram um, coffee stain paper which makes a perfect card because it stands up and it's really, really sturdy. And I've just folded that in half and I've sewn it around the edges. And this is the lovely simple envelope to make to go with it. Um, and I think it is perfect. So that just fits in. So you just need two pieces of tea stain paper or you can use any paper that you want to. That just pops inside like that. And then we have the little paper clip as the closure. So I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And again, you can embellish it as much as you like. I've just got some little bits of um, these little, um, it's sort of like this middle of sequins um, and some stickles on there. But so easy to do. And they're a lovely, lovely card to make. Because birthday and Christmas cards are really, really expensive. Um, so if you can make them yourself, it's even better. So I'm going to show you how to start. Now, I've got some of our little trees that we made yesterday. Now, I've sewn around this one. So I've just gone around the sewing machine there and a little bit around the little bit, um, the little pot at the bottom. This one I haven't done. Um, well, I've gone quickly. If you haven't seen the video I'm making the trees, I'm going to show you quickly. Now, this is probably about five by five piece of paper. Now, all as I've done is got a piece of um, book paper, folded it in half so it's two layers, and I've sort of like stuck it together. So you want to go corner to corner, and then you want to just fold into the middle like that. Fold this piece in. I'll pop the link to the video below anyway to see the original video, but because I've made out of some different papers in there and different sizes. Um, this just folds up to the top of the point, fold it there, and then these come up to the sides. And you just fold them in. So easy to do. And I'm loving them in the um, book paper. But again, you can make them out of any papers you like. But if you want to make cheap, um, inexpensive um, Christmas cards, these are just perfect. And then what you want to do is just fold that bottom piece up like that. And then you've got the little pot. So depending on how big you want your pot. And then all as I've got, I've got my glue stick. And I'm just a glue gun, I mean. Just stick these bits down. Like that. A little bit of glue across there stick that down and stick this bit down so we don't want any little loose bits like that so and that's your christmas tree and then all i've done i've sewn around this one and i've just popped a little bit of ink around it so that's super simple now i'm going to decorate this quickly so we'll give it time to dry and all as i'm going to do i'm going to get our little embellishments that we made the other day I'm going to just take one of the little stars and then I'm going to take a small star as well. I'm going to take some of the wire like this. This is our um, florist wire or any wire. Well, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. I'm going to do like we did before. I'm just going to do a quick wrap around here just to give it a little bit of a um nice a bendy twisty bit of wire like that and you pull that out and all as i've done i have just wiggled it about however you like you have these little flat bits in the middle it's just to give it a little bit of um sort of texture or something underneath here like that okay and then we're going to pop the star on top there 
And I did, I think, pop a little bit of... Let's have a look if I've got anything here. I did have a little bit of this gold... It's like gold netting. I've just popped that underneath there. If you can just see it. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to use my glue gun, so I'm just going to glue this down. Pop the little bit of netting on top. Tiny bit more glue just to stick on the metal bit like that. Just so that will sort of stick down. You can add beads to the, the metal if you want to, like I did on the, um, the little Christmas tree. So I'm going to just pop that on there so that can sit there and then that will just sit on top of the tree. You can actually pop some stickles or make it shiny however you like. So this is just giving you ideas. Now I've got glue st um, sticks stuck everywhere now. There we go. Right, I'm going to leave that to the side to dry and then on this one all as I'm going to do is get my glue, oopsie daisy, pop some little blobs on here. So this will sort of go up there. And then I just want to pop some tiny little blobs of glue like this. Now you can do this with glitter or however you like that we showed you yesterday. I've got that, um, the little pearl ones, little pearl drops, I can't remember what they're called now, what are these? I think it's the liquid pearls, the liquid pearls that we used. So you just decorate them however you like. I'm just popping some little blobs of glue and then I'm going to go over with some of these little gold um, sprinklies. I think they are the inside of um, sequins. Just picking them up and just putting them on. I don't want it to be too decorated. I want you to be able to just see it. Um, so they're just quick and simple little um, Christmas cards. But again, you can put beads or sprinkle more some glitter on it. I know lots of you don't really like glitter because it just gets everywhere. But I do love a little bit of glitter at Christmas. So let's just pop these one more. Oops. Is that it? I think that's about it. And then I'm going to pop some sickles on in between. You might not be able to see this ever so well, but you can. It just gives it a little bit of decoration on there. Like that. So let's just see if you can just sort of like see a little bit on there. Just a little bit of shiny. So I'm going to pop that to the side in a minute just to dry off so we can stick it on the card. Now to make the card I have got a piece of coffee stain paper. Now again this is 160 gram paper. I'm just going to fold this in half like this. And then I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue, glue stick, whatever, just a tiny bit, just to hold it in place, just while I sew it. Because I'm just going to go to the sewing machine and just sew all the way around the outside. So I just need a little bit of glue just to keep it together, like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop over to the sewing machine quickly. I'm going to just sew all the way around the outside. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Let me just fold this in half. Like this. I'm going to sew. I will sew all the way around the outside. And then I'm just going to do a, one down the middle like that. So when you open it up. So it looks like this. So it looks like that. Okay. So quick and simple. So I will be two seconds. Okay. So there we go. That's all sewn around the outside. So let me just chop the little little bits of thread off Oops, without cutting the paper so 
that's super simple so we've got a nice card so that's really easy to do um, and if you haven't got any cards just double over a piece of paper like that and it is really really quite sturdy now I'm going to just ink it a little bit just to sort of like give it a little bit of a distressed look just around the outsides like that do the back again I'm just using the um, vintage photo ink but again whatever you like to use just go around the outside so there we go perfect not sure whether I actually folded that very well but you get the idea so then what we need to do is take our little Christmas tree or our big Christmas tree and pop him on the front now again you can decorate the back even more if you like but I'm quite liking it sort of like very minimalistic really sort of like quite plain on the back I think it looks really really nice so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on the back a little bit of glue gun glue so it sticks nice and quickly like that oops pop that on there just stick it down without getting glue everywhere and look very straight okay this is dry and we pop our little star on the top so let's just nice big blob of glue like that how lovely and how easy is that shall we pop a little bow on it let's have a little red bow on there I think I'm going to be finding these little bits of shiny bits everywhere okay so there's a nice little bow on there chop the little tails off which way round I think that way round a little bit of glue lovely so there we go that is fluff beautiful Christmas card how easy was that a little bit of a sparkly Ooh, look we've got a bit of glue hanging off there we don't want that on there do we take that off there we go perfect so I'm going to pop that to the side now I'm going to show you how to make the envelope so again we need another piece of paper another piece of um, A4 paper so what we're going to do we're going to take the card I'm going to take this one which is the dry one we pop that in there and just fold it up now I'm going to just fold it to the top of the card like that and fold that over like that and then I'm just going to bring this bit down and just fold that over just down like so just making it a lovely envelope now I'm going to take the card because we don't really need it that long and I did have a pencil here somewhere there we go so I'm just going to sort of like mark it there and then I'm going to chop that little bit off fits in there perfect oops got this cotton i'm just going to take this and just turn this bit down just so we've got a little bit of a lip on there um, so it doesn't rip so we'll just turn that sort of level so when you pop the card in you've got that little lip like that and i'm going to do the same on the outside piece so we'll just turn that little bit over ink this up a little bit I 
Okay, so there we go. So that folds up like that and down there. So then this will be the front of your card, not your card, your envelope, um, which is here. So I've just popped a little bit. Um, I've gone round here. I've just inked around this little card like this so that you can write in sort of like the address or somebody's name um, like that. So I'm just going to pop that on the front. I'm going to open these up. I'm going to just pop that on the front like that in the middle get a little bit of ink and just go around like this just like we did I don't know whether you saw it um, on my one of my um, reference journal ones I did some lovely hearts this way as well which looked really really pretty so that's like that. It's a bit really wobbly, is it? Maybe not. Okay. And then this just folds up. And then that's the front of your card. Have a little bit of glitter. And a bit more here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to sew down this piece. And then sew down this piece. And then I'm going to just sew up the sides so that it, um, we have actually got an envelope so it will be two seconds okay so there we go I have one lovely very simple envelope like that which has just been sewn around so that's super simple so we've got a lovely card here that we've just made that fits in there lovely so the closure that I would like to do is just I've got some little paper clips here so I'm going to use this little one and then that is super simple as a little closure now i would like to pop a little bow on there so it matches so here we go let's use our little bit of red ribbon again so you might have some ready-made bows and then it will be even quicker you can make a nice little bow like that just to pop on the bottom of the tree little tails off pop a little bit of glue on there and there we go just perfect I think that is lovely so I won't pop this inside because it's going to be still a bit wet but I'm just going to show you with this one so that just fits inside super simple that closes up and then we've got a lovely little closure like that and all as I've done on this one is add a few little um, sparkly bits on there which you can do or you can pop another little bow here whatever you like so let's have on the opposite corner just pop a few little dots of glue and then we can add some of our little gold sprinklies in there just pop them on like that so if you've got oops if you've got lots of people to make cards for these you don't even have to really spend any money out doing it you can just make these with some book paper and some of your tea stain paper or if you've got some nice um, Christmassy digital papers you can use those which are lovely I thought if you just plain simple and easy um, so if you don't have even if you don't have a printer these are absolutely perfect for you and there just write your name and address on there um, and then you can give that to somebody pop it through their door and I think they would love it so there we go guys so that was quick and easy so that's making use of what we've already made so we made the little um, embellishment here which we've got these ones in here the hearts so I'll pop the link down to some of these that um, ones that we made before but I just think they are gorgeous um, and that's a super simple way to do it let's take this card out so I now have two lovely cards and envelopes ready to send to people and we've got our lovely little paper clips as well so there we go guys quick easy simple something you can do with your christmas trees your origami christmas trees um, so it's a perfect little project for you all right guys thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care and i'll see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.